Julie, this dangerous rush hour shooting erupting on the Stevenson Expressway about 8.30 this morning. Obviously a very busy time on the interstate. The two victims somehow managing to drive themselves in their bullet-riddled vehicle from the Stevenson here to this gas station in Summit where they called 911. I thought it was a flat tire initially before realizing what it was. And once I'd heard it, I realized it was time to leave. Witnesses not wanting to identify themselves after this morning's hair-raising shooting on the Stevenson Expressway. How right. many rounds do you think you heard? More than 10, less than 50. The brazenness of the morning rush hour attack hard to fathom. An individual or individuals in another vehicle, according to initial reports, unleashing a barrage of bullets on the interstate. The driver of the blasted out Toyota sedan with a wounded female passenger somehow managing to drive his crippled vehicle to this gas station near Harlem and the Stevenson. For those listening to all the sirens, it's a sobering reality. It is sad, especially when you have a, a you know a newborn baby and stuff like that. You start hearing about this, it makes you kind of worried, and you know, you kind of start thinking about her future. Now, we should tell you that Stevenson has been reopened. It was shut down for two hours for Illinois State Police to conduct their investigation. Initial reports are that Chicago police have an individual in custody who is being questioned at this hour. In Southwest Suburban Summit, Julian Cruz, WGN News.